and welcome to Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. As you can see today, I'm sitting down on the job, I'm in my shorts and I'm in my new X Rocker chair. So this is the X Rocker Adrenaline. This was purchased from Argos. Uh, it is a gaming chair and we've got the gaming just all set up. So this is obviously a, a higher certificate game. So we're just going to show you just the basics and how this works. So how do we set up our gaming chair and what's the point of a gaming chair? So the gaming chair, as you can see, obviously for gaming, um, this gaming chair, however, has special features to it. As you can see here, it's actually got micro, it's actually got um, speakers built into the back of the chair. So you can actually hear the noise through the chair as you game. If you turn round and I'll show the speakers. Okay, there the you go. Right there? Yep. Uh, those will hear, as you're so close to the speakers, obviously sitting as you're gaming, got the game on there, you will actually hear it pretty, pretty close, pretty, pretty loud. So it has got that feature. It also has another feature in here where it's actually got a motion controller, or I should say, what's the word, not tumbler. Yeah, actually... Vibrates. Vibrator, that's the word. It's actually got a vibration pad here at the back. So every time there's a loud noise playing the game, You'll hear it vibrate here. It really does add to the gaming experience. It is a really, really good chair. In terms of um, the actual chair itself, how to do the setup. So, um, as you can see here, I've already constructed it. When this arrived, um, this came in one part here, the actual chair itself. These were on separate parts of so the base, which is metal here, um, and also the arms as well, I had to construct on there. The arms come through like this. Do you want to turn around the other side? You see, see the arms, so they are actually, so if you don't want the arms, you can actually pull them back. Um, one thing I must say as well though, just as an aside with the arms, the instructions do say, and they are quite clear, you shouldn't use the arms to get out the chair, so you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, you shouldn't push on them. I'm pushing that. The reason being is they aren't very, very steady. They're steady enough to rest on like this, but they're not sturdy to push on them like that. Yeah. So I always tend to keep them on the back just for that reason. Well, you could, I think men tend to get a bit too excitable when it comes to gaming. So then they want to push off on this and touch that, break this and break that. So it can be quite exciting sitting in the chair and feeling the vibrations and feeling the sound. It's, or hearing the sound, should I say. It certainly is. Another feature here I wanted to show you. I'm just going to go through the, the parts here as I come off the chair. The chair is actually foldable if you want to. So although we've got a Velcro patch here, as you can see, if I lift that up, that then enables you to break the chair. I say break. Well, I fold push, the chair. Fold the chair. If I push the arms up here, like that. So yeah. as you can see here, it's a lot more compact. Yeah. Um, if you want to do it that way. So I'm just gonna pull this back up here. So set up for the chair. Most of your controls are here. So as you can see here on the panel screen, we've got the control. So uh, that's the on off button here. Power goes in here. That's a vibration control. So if you want to, if you don't want vibration, you can actually turn it off. You can turn it up high. Obviously the higher it is, the stronger it actually feels. Uh, that's the base. From underneath because your fingers are in the way as you're Sorry. pointing as well. So this is the base. So that obviously makes it boots up the base in the actual system itself that's your on off button you can make and also it turns like this so that actually makes the volume louder or turns the volume down uh, this is where you plug in your connectors i'll show you that in a second turning on the unit um, and it's got the various ports here this one here you'll actually plug into your controller it's compatible with both uh, xbox and also ps4 you can also use it as well with pcs um, and you've got a usp port there as well right what i'm going to do i'm going to now plug in to show you i've got this all set up so let me just... and while he's doing that i'll tell you a little bit about it in, in the sense that so um we got it from argos um, it is um, $149.99. There is a delivery charge of $3.95. But what's good is if you want to send it back, they collect it for free. As long as you call them and, you know, uh, can repackage it and everything else. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. They, they'll just pick it up for free. 
Okay, so these are the cables that come with it. These are essential in order to, for your chair to work. So obviously you'll have your power port here, which I've just plugged in. There we go. Which will turn on. I think the power is on. Let's, I there hope the power is on because it's plugged in. So that should... Oh, yeah, sorry, my mistake. Got to press it on here. <laughs> He's so, got to press the on button. There, so I'll turn it on. That will turn on the, as I said, that's your volume control. Right, it also comes with these cables. Now, these cables are essential. You will have two sets of cables. Well, the camera's still trying to focus. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so you've got yeah. your main set here. Your main set here. That's it, keep with me. Sorry, I was trying yeah. to focus the camera. So... This is obviously for connecting the chair to the actual television. Uh, with that as well, you've got two connecting rods, and this then comes to this connecting rod. Now, this is what you'll plug into your TV. You'll need to plug this in into the television um, headphone set, and that's what you'll need to do. But in order to do that, you'll need to connect them together. So you'll see here, you've got a red socket here, as you can see, red and red. So you just follow the color code, really, red, goes into there, that goes into red, and that's white, goes into here, white goes into there. Okay, that's your first set of cables. Your second set of cables is this one with the green ends, and this goes into one, the green port here. Okay, and that will also then plug, without getting into a knot, into your controller here. So this is your PS4, I'm gonna, and you can see here, it's got the microphone there, so I'm going to plug that into here, and that will then plug in. So that's going to connect to there. So if you have a look here, it also says plug them into the first set, which is here, there, and there. And so then, like Mark said, white into white and red into red. And Bear with me, I'm just going to plug this into the screen. Do you want to turn the screen around? Alright, so we're lucky we've got this TV there, the screen actually turns around. So on this particular set, actually right before it pulls in, it's got a, right at the back here is the socket. So excuse all the uh, dust. Got Chromecast in there as well, and that goes in there. Okay, okay. brilliant. So I'm going to now put that together okay now then the demonstration so there there is a setup you will need to do in order to get this to work now I'm just going to show you so on the if you can see the screen as well you'll probably be able to see the screen we need to so that's just going to load here so that's going to set up make sure the volume is up, say, to about halfway, so you can just test it first before you go. So that's your volume, so that's full down. That's full. Okay. Yeah. While well, that's going there. Um, and also, like I say, exactly the same with the vibration control. So that will then, that's turned off now, so there's no vibration whatsoever. That's full vibration. Again, I suggest putting it about quarter way up and then you can just see, you can always tell, the way the vibration will work is it'll actually work in conjunction with the sound on the television. So while the sound is loud. So that's the top middle one that you suggest. Yeah, Yeah. so I'm just gonna do this just slight, and same with the bass as well, so you can always adjust it once you hear. Yeah, you can adjust it on. to your own personal suitability, taste. Um, right. Right, so as you can see here, while I'm on the game, uh, I've got to remember to set this up now. <laughs> oh, no. So we had this delivered, as Mark's setting that up, I'll talk a little bit about it. So um, it came the next day, so that was really good. Um, but you can also choose the day that you want it delivered. Sometimes when you choose the day, it can be a little bit more expensive because you're actually selecting a day. But, um, yeah, it relatively says that, you know, it's £3.95 
for delivery and you normally can get it next day delivery so um for 149.99 it's not bad um and yeah i mean you as you'll see in a minute once mark has set it up um you'll hear the bass you'll see well mark will explain the vibration um and yeah ready it, to go oh right. it's ready to go so it's ready to go all set up so like i said let me just turn this up a bit so you can hear Now this game, there's not a lot of moving at the moment. So you can see my character still. And I'm gonna get the vibration up there as well. So, I don't know if you can hear that from the camera. So I'm getting to this car. So okay, we'll... and I'm gonna come round the back so we can hear the movement. Right on. Right, can you hear the sound from the internet? Yep, you might wanna turn it up, yeah. Okay. So it's, it is quite bassy, as you can hear that, it's quite loud. Yeah. I can feel the vibrations as well. So basically, every time, and the vibrations are built up on the sound, so every time, I'll face you while I'm doing this. Oh, I'll come round uh, so I can see the TV. So every time I'm actually moving, again, like I said, this I'm just driving in the game. But every time I'm moving, I'm going to turn the bass up a little bit. You can hear that boosting sound. I can feel the vibration pads hitting on the back of there. But like I say, it's a really, really good chair in terms of... And as I said, I'm six foot two. It fits me quite well. It's not the world's most comfortable chair. So yeah. it's not as comfortable as an ergonomic chair. Rocker, it's rocker. Do do, uh, let me just pause that a second while I do this. So X Rocker do do ergonomic chairs. If you wanted something a bit more comfortable, uh, you could get an ergonomic chair. Like I say, this one as well, it's quite, it's not uncomfortable at all. It, you know, it's perfectly fine to sit in. It probably is built for a smaller person. So either like a uh, older child or, uh, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with an adult using it. It's, for me, like I said, it's perfectly comfortable. Um, it seats me well. Like I said, I'm six foot two, so it seats me pretty fine. My head hits on the uh, the end here as well, so I'm not having to slouch. Uh, you can. It doesn't allow you to rock back and forth too much, a little yeah. bit, or even though it's called the rocker. So you can do as well like that if you want to lean back and do that there. Um, what's great about it is the swivel. Like I said, so as you are getting, I don't know why, there's something about swivel chairs that when you're in a swivel chair, you always just want to do that while you're, mm. you're actually gaming as well. But it allows you to do that. So if you have a game where you're constantly going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, like as so well, you can just move the action that way. Um, as I say as well, like they're all built in. Um, you can adjust, what's great as well is with the controls right here on the side, while you are gaming, if for example, you do need to pause or you need to turn it down, is right here you're not looking for a remote control you can just switch that right right down or if you really wanted to just turn it off at the button there and that's all gone off as well so like i said i don't need to now go and look for a remote control to turn the sound down it's there i can just pause and turn off uh i prefer you can hear that little crackle when you turn it on just to turn it down if you yeah. need to rather than turn it off um in terms of setup like I said, it's quite easy to, you saw me set it up in a few seconds. So when you take this apart, um, like I said, the chair does come all in parts. So you've got this main part here. You will have to attach the arms and you will have to attach the base. This part here, the chair part in the back all come in one piece. So you won't need to do that. My personal recommendation, if you can, if you have it like that, because you do have to keep plugging in the wires, um, it doesn't do a Wi-Fi version, as far as I'm aware. I would recommend that you have it in a location that you can have it in permanently, if you can. I mean, at the moment, we have it in the corner and base there, and I pull it out when I need to. Uh, nothing wrong with doing that, but it's just nicer there if you can just have it as a normal chair when you're using it. But like I say, it is nice just to write back. It keeps your back upright, which is quite good. 
Um, and like I said, you, it's easy just to get engrossed doing this, playing for hours and hours and hours if that's what you want to do. You can use it as well for watching television, so not just for gaming. You, as I said, you've got the speakers at the back, so you can hear that, and you've got the vibration. Um, I have watched TV on it as well. Does it add to the feel? Well, a little bit. You know, like I said, you've got the sound right here, because you can feel the vibration. Um, sometimes it does add to that experience of the um, watching television. But again, like I say, with gaming, it definitely does add to the experience of your gaming t uh, experience. So there you have it. There it is. This is the X-Rocker 2. I would recommend getting a gaming chair. They are really good to have. Like I said, if, you, if you've got the space for it, um, why not get it? It's like I say, like I say, it's not an essential tool, but it is something that does add to your gaming experience. Um, X-Rocker as well, good company. Would recommend getting an X-Rocker chair. So I hope you like that review. Um, if you have any questions about the setup or any more questions about the game itself, please, or the gaming chair itself, please drop them in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe. We always uh, appreciate your support for these channels and it helps us create more videos. Anyway, that's it for Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. We'll see you later for our next review. Bye.